Folks, I want to talk to you uh, on several things today. One of them dealing with a, a citizenship project, which I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to walk right into it. This is one here. Uh, of course, I've shown you this one before. Uh, this is one of the nicest ones that I like uh, because it has uh, a lot of nice stonework in it. And um, it's got really good ocean views up high. Uh, it's actually a lot better than what it looks like here, but I'm going to show you one that's next door today, too. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I wanted to uh, talk to you on a couple of things. Uh, on other tapes, I've mentioned to you that uh, Belize Offshore Corporations now are coming out with uh, their taxing uh, Belize Offshore Corporations. Um, you know, uh, this is something that just come out, but what kind of floored me was... Uh, I was talking to two registered agents uh, actually just uh, uh, yesterday and neither one of them even knew about this new law that came in place. I could not believe it. Uh, and, I, and I asked them, I said, uh, you got to remember, if you got a registered office, registered agent, and you got a corporation, the government's not going to contact you on the, the tax law changes. They contact the registered office. And if you don't get information from that registered office on changes, and they don't let you know, uh, you can get really, in fact, Belize, believe it or not, has had got really stiff penalties for not uh, actually uh, uh, disclosing this um, and, and getting, you know, getting, getting the, uh, uh, where, where you're disclosing it, your, your tax forms to the revenue department there. So it's real important that you know what you're doing uh, or you should have someone there that knows what they're doing. Uh, I couldn't believe it. They they literally did not know about these new changes. They've been on the internet for the last two and a half years coming up. I actually had to send them a copy of the uh, the, the tax form and the actual new laws on it. But I just couldn't believe they could be a, a registered office and not know this. Uh, anyway, uh, it just kind of blew my mind. But... Uh, this is something that you really need to keep up with because now there's going to be a lot of these countries changing their their tax laws with the uh, CRS. Now, you got to stay on top of this stuff because if you don't, you're going to have some real issues down the road. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about today, uh, Dominican Republic is not part of the CRS. The, the problem with the DR... Uh, it does have a ter territorial tax system in place, and you can actually get uh, citizenship and a passport there. They tell you in two years, but you're not going to get it in two years. Count on four to five. Promise you it's not going to happen. Uh, but you don't have to be there hardly any time. You have to take several visits over there. The passport's not all that great. Uh, all the countries just about in Central America have better passports than the Dominican Republic does. It doesn't have visa-free the Xinjiang countries, but it is a cheap way to get a passport if you want something. Uh, one problem with the Dominican Republic uh, passport is if you if you want to own the assets totally, you might have an issue because you have to have at least two shareholders, and that's a problem. Some of these uh, these IBCs have real gotchas like Panama. You got to have three directors, and uh, some people don't want that. They want to be a sole director. Uh, and uh, that's a problem you have with the Dominican Republic uh, uh, offshore corporation. So this is something that you you know you have to think about. Uh, if you're also if you want to learn more on how to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as uh, 45 days, do three things: hit the subscribe button, the right of your screen, you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I'd like to hear from you if you got a question or comment just put it below and I'll get back with you and number three is go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com and ask for some help and we'll be glad to help you out in any way we can okay now this is a, a citizenship development like I mentioned to you a lot of these are actually uh, most of your citizenship developments in the whole federation uh, if you want to know the place that you're going to have the most of them is Frigate Bay I'm talking about if you take St. Kitts and Nevis and put them together, the place that has the most citizenship investment projects is Frigate Bay. And one reason they, they center a lot of stuff here is you've got a, uh, 
you got all with uh, all the real nice beaches here you do have some on the southeast peninsula a lot of people don't want to live down that far they don't have street lights at night and uh you got to drive about 11 miles just to get a loaf of bread well actually about eight miles if you come to frigate bay but uh that's one issue there all right now this is a development it's a citizenship by investment development uh, it was started about the early 1990s and uh, it's called Half Moon Bay Villas. It's actually on the golf course. And uh, the units run in here, uh, it depends on, you know, how much the person wants to sell it. They've got one in here for a million. I've seen them sell for one one bedroom for as low as about a, I mean, this was a steal though, like 150,000, 200,000, but don't, don't count on that, okay? The bigger ones can be as high as, uh, you know, right around a million or just under, okay? Uh, now, it just depends on the view, you know, how many square feet you got in here. But uh, you do have, uh, you have the ones here on the end, on the sides, have real good ocean views. And, uh, and they also have good uh, uh, golf course views overlooking the Marriott Golf Course. So that's something you can, uh, you're looking for that type of, uh, you know, those views, that's, a, uh, that's what you can look at there. Now, like for instance, this one is probably selling for around eight, 900,000 US right in there. They might have dropped it down even further. This has got one of the best views on the golf course and the ocean. Uh, actually, the uh, it shows, uh, it, it, it's right at the point here, so it has a real good view of the ocean and the golf course all the way across. Um, now, if you, uh, and most of these uh, roofs too, while I'm talking about it, uh, have either Gavaloon uh, type roofs, which are real good for hurricanes, and all of these have cement buildings. I mean, they've got, they've got houses here from the 1700s that are still standing in their wood. So, I mean, uh, you're not going to have problems with the cement houses. These are very, very uh, uh, strong cement type homes. And most of your homes in the citizenship developments are uh, concrete and uh, for good reason. Um, so, anyway, if you're looking for something that's near the, uh, the, uh, the uh, beach, the nice beaches, uh, nice to the uh, right next to the golf course and you're looking for something that's already built because I'll tell you something folks it's, uh, it's nice to have something already built where you don't have to deal with builders but I've told people this before that uh, you're gonna get uh, if you buy at the right price uh, we do have a developer right now who will actually pick up um, your uh, legal fees and uh, and they've got a lease back option where uh, uh, like for one of the options they've got they'll pay you 60,000 US right up front as soon as you sign the lease at closing so you can take that and use it for the government fees in fact in some cases it will actually pay out all the government fees so basically all you're doing is you know uh, is buying the real estate if you let that lease back uh, money you know go for that and so basically you know depending on how many family members you got uh, you might have all the government fees paid for along with the legal fees so all you're doing is investing in the property it depends on how many family members you got several different factors I'd have to look at that now we do have a developer right now uh, that's uh, the actual the, the, they're actually already built uh, that will actually pay if you end up buying in their development uh, they will actually uh, uh, pay for you to stay down here for you and your family up to one month, okay? Uh, now, you can stay shorter than that, but I'm saying you can stay up to one month, and they'll pick up the tab. It's a four-star resort, and uh, normally it's $200 US a day, but what they're doing now is they're charging $100 a night. But if you end up, um, uh, if you end up going and getting... Uh, uh, the citizenship and using their property to do it they'll actually refund back that money up to a one month period of time is how that works so that 
that's what they would do there. So anyway, it's uh, if you're going to take a trip to St. Kitts, why not get it paid for if you end up buying in that development? Uh, now, uh, this lease back though is really unique. I've mentioned to you before, uh, you don't have to worry about collecting rent from renters. They pay all the money to you up front. You can see the views up here. Really nice to the ocean off of the distance here. But uh, the uh, the lease back, uh, all the money's paid up to your front, up front. So you don't have to worry about collecting renters from renters. You don't have to worry about uh, you know gaps and months that you know the place goes unrented because the uh, developer has to, he takes the risk because he's giving you all your money up front. Okay. Uh, and what's your time worth too? I mean, you don't want to be messing around with this. This is very a no key, it's a turnkey type project where you're basically taking your, your money, investing it, and they, they do everything. If there's something wrong with the furniture, they pay for it because you've already been paid your money up front and they take the risk. They end up repairing all the, the any sort of damage that's done. Uh, the only thing you pay for is the property tax, which is almost it's not right at zero, but it's pretty close. It's real low because you only pay 0.20% of whatever the price of the property is. And then they, uh, uh, you got a, a $29,600 US dollar exclusion before that property tax kicks in. So you can see that you're going to, uh, your fee is going to be almost nothing there. Uh, so if you're wanting, you know, to, uh, get a no hassle type deal and I'll tell you something folks the properties have done really well here from 2007 to right now now obviously you know you want to buy at the right price and what we can do is show you properties we feel like they're good deals they're in good locations and uh, nice to next to to the nice beaches that's what you want to look for when you're you're getting something like this and uh, so you're uh, when you come to St. Kitts, so, like I said, uh, if you come now, you're, there is a two-week quarantine period. Uh, so you would have to stay in a hotel for two weeks uh, to uh, actually uh, uh, quarantine yourself. And uh, once that two-week period is over with, then you can go out uh, and, and go from there. You can, of course, swim and uh, and use the facilities and everything unless there's a huge breakout here now recently we did have a breakout here uh, with the coronavirus probably the worst it's been uh, so they're trying to keep that under control and that quarantine has done a, a good job of doing that uh, we did have our first person to just die it was just in the newspaper yesterday so, but that's only one person what in a a little over a year that this thing broke out about a year and a half that coronavirus uh, broke out but we've had just one person to die of the coronavirus during that period of time and I'm sure there's probably going to be more too I mean it's uh, it's a numbers thing uh, but uh, these are just some pictures of some of the units up here they've got real good views up high as you can see But if you want safe from, if you want to be safe from the coronavirus, you're probably not going to find a better place than here because of the. Uh, we've had almost, you know, we've only had one person to die. That that's the key here. It's a very very safe place to come. Um, now, uh, what I would advise you to do, uh, there, if you're thinking about coming down, the developer that's running that one month. Uh, pickup fee for the room it doesn't include your flight it's just basically your hotel room for you and your family uh, they're gonna run this through July I don't know if they can extend it beyond that point so if you're thinking about getting something I would be uh, doing it then rather than later they're doing this during the coronavirus period because uh, uh, you know they're offering all these specials during that period because it has slowed down here somewhat because of that quarantine period obviously when the quarantine period is over with you know things are going to change a lot tourist industry breaks out here again we we've got about uh, normal under normal times about 1.2 million uh, tourists that come in here a year that's a lot for a small country and uh, 
everything really picks up at that point. So if you're, you know, thinking about uh, uh, coming over, this is a good time to do it. This will show you kind of the view out here from the golf course. And that's Timothy Mountain. You can go hiking up there. That's right next to Timothy Beach. Got really good views there. But uh, if you got a question or comment, folks, just uh, put it below. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the right of your screen. You'll get new videos as they come out automatically. Uh, and that notification bell next to that subscription button. And go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit that top bar that says apply with us, fill out the questions. Hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. We'll see what we can do. We deal with over a, a hundred citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. That's the uh, Marriott Golf Course House over there. This is a very inexpensive place to play golf here. A lot cheaper than the Four Seasons in Nevis. Okay, folks, I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.